The Belgian Common Tivet Support Program, PAFP, was initiated by three Belgian development organizations to support the Workforce Development Authority, WDA, to improve technical vocational education and training, TVET. Le PFP, c'est le programme de PI à la formation professionnelle. Uh, c'est un, un programme qui est né de trois intervenants belges qui, au départ, avaient, avant la naissance du PFP, travaillaient des gens uh, dans la formation professionnelle. Nous avons la PFP et la VVOB. Euh, et la CTB qui étaient tous de se mettre ensemble et de former un seul programme commun d'appui à la formation professionnelle. Donc euh, nous appuyons au niveau national avec le WDA, surtout dans les filières l'agriculture et vétérinaire et le school management. Et, et aussi spécialement nous sommes au sud, donc on travaille avec LPC South dans les autres filières. The southern province, uh, it was realized that we had uh, many young people who were not equipped with the required skills. So, so that is why the, the southern province was chosen. Uh, the Belgian uh, common program known as the uh, program de pierre formation professionnelle uh, has helped the WDA in introducing uh, TVT reforms uh, related to Competence-based training and competence-based assessment, and it has helped to build the capacity of the required human resource staff and the, to be able to implement these uh, reforms that were introduced. Uh, they were mainly in the areas of uh, competence-based curriculum development, uh, competence-based assessment methodologies. Uh, the training of trainers, the school uh, management and the leadership, uh, but also the improvement of infrastructure and equipment required to implement this program. Um, une formation fondée sur l'approche par compétences, uh, c'est une formation qui vise le développement des compétences. Uh, Qu'est-ce que c'est qu'une compétence C'est un ensemble de savoir, de savoir-faire et d'attitudes euh, qu'on utilise pour accomplir des tâches. En formation professionnelle, évidemment, c'est des tâches professionnelles. Euh, donc, ça veut dire que le contenu de la formation va définir quelles compétences on veut atteindre pour que l'élève puisse faire son métier, hein, qu'il puisse faire son travail. Euh, et puis, ça veut dire que le formateur va utiliser des méthodes pour favoriser le développement de ses compétences. Donc, on parle souvent de méthodes centrées sur l'apprenant ou de méthodes actives. Ça veut dire que quand on prépare sa leçon, on, on s'intéresse à l'activité de l'élève. Donc une formation basée sur l'approche par compétences va leur permettre de développer ses compétences techniques et ses attitudes et donc de mieux répondre aux besoins des employeurs. Capacity building for the trainers was one of the pillars and a key result of the project's program. Bivuga ko nubwo narenze ibyo nigisha mu bijyanye n’ubuhinzi ariko inzira yo kubitangamo cyangwa uburyo bwo kubitangamo ubwo ndavuga ibijyanye na pedagogi nta notion ndende nari mfiteho atari nanjye gusa ahubwo na bagenzi banjye ibyo rero byarafashije amahugurwa nabonye yarafashije cyane umukongera uburyo bw’imyigishirize tumenye uburyo bwo gutegura isomo mu mu buryo bwiza tumenya uburyo bwo kwigisha isomo wateguye tumenya ndetse n'uburyo wabaza umunyeshuri wigishije muri methodology y'imyigire cyangwa se yo kubaza batweretse uburyo tugomba kubaza umunyeshuri tugareba imyigire ye uburyo bayarize tukareba n'uburyo ashyira mu bikorwa ibyo yizi twafashije ibyo bigo gusuzuma ubumenyi bw'abanyeshuri kandi kwa ko twabaga duturutse hanze tudasanzwe mu kigo bigatuma nta bintu by'amasantima bizamwo mu rwego rwo gusuzuma urugera abanyeshuri bariho twarebaga ko ibyo ngibyo bize bihuye cyane cyane nibishakwa kwisoko ry'umurimo hanze 
kwa na vijiji huko jishaka. Iyo tujere la njia juu budi tukua kuresha kambere, budi tukua kuresha kwa ubudi yao, boha umanya mone ni mngare mo, aliko yema yuko tu banya mau gurwa, tukua mnye yuko, atarum ngare mo gomba kufa tu mnganya mone ni, au garu mnye shuru gomba kuwa kumnganya mone ni. PAFP piloted a competence-based approach within 24 schools in the southern province. How do the students feel about this approach? companies. <laughs> akaza mu kigo cyacu ndetse agafatanya nabari mu bacu mu buryo batwigishamo uratunyuze kuryo tubasha kubona politique zihagije ikindi dubasha no kubona assessment kuri module twa turangije kwiga bakatwa assessing iyo tujye gukora assessment kuri atwa twabanje gukora exercise hagira abandi bantu batutse mu bandi mahoteli bakabasha kuza kutwa assessing kandi buri wese akora Buri muntu ku giti cye akabasha gupresenta ikintu yakoze pratique banyishi kurusha teore Maze kubona stage naje kwitwara neza gukoresha bwa bumenyi nahawe impanda bityo rero banjya n'ikizere bampamakaza ko nitwaye neza kandi abona ko mushoboye bite no bumenyi nakuye hariya muri VTC Amasomo nize niyo na nubu ngubu navuga kwa mpumugati nkuko tubivuga ko urabona byinshi ngo twagiye tubikora bese tugera aha ngaha ku muri ku isoko ryo murimo tugasa nkaho ari amazi uko twamenyere pratique What work has PFP done to implement the competence based approach Mu kongera bari mu motivate ubushobozi PFP yahuguye abari mu bagera kuri 300 bo mu bigo muri bigo by'itikitegerezo public schools 24 kwa mahugurwa muri pedagogy muri technique muri ICT no mu cyongereza muri pedagogy twabahuguye mu mamodule atanu ariyo occupation and training program planning CBT designing CBT delivering CBT and assessment mu mahugurwa technique twahuguye abarimu uburyo ba bakoresha pratique abanyeshuri muri ICT abari mu twahuguye muri programme zirazibanze zikoreshwa mu kazi ka buri munsi no kuvuga programme ya Word Excel na PowerPoint ku buryo babikoresha no mu kazi kabo kugira ngo turebe ko abari mu twahuguye bashira mu bikorwa ibyo twahuguyemo aba assistant technique wa PFP basura ibigo le centre pilote buri kigo bagisura buri kwezi e, gahunda wa mahugurwa yatanyo na PFP izakomeza e, ikozwe na IPSSF e, ifatanye n'abarabari trainers twahuguye e, noneho ihugure abandi bari mu bose bo muzindi za TV e, providers TV centers e, zo majepfo the implementation of a competence-based approach started with the development of new curricula. CB curricula are a curriculum that are based on competence. That means we, we um, the curricula are developed based on the, the outcomes of the training. So. Um, Compare, compared to the previous curricula that schools were using, um, we call them traditional way of teaching, where the curricula were based on subjects. Then now um, we have introduced competence-based curricula, which are there to respond to the labor market needs or to the labor market demand. Um, in the phases of developing the competence-based curriculum, we involve uh, companies or industry to give us their inputs while we are developing the curriculum. So we start by analysis of the occupation. So they tell us what are uh, critical skills that are needed in the industry. So then we identify together with them the skills or the uh, duties and tasks 
that have to be uh, performed in the industry. So then from that, we then base on the reports from the occupational analysis to develop the curriculum. Internship is a compulsory part of the newly developed competence-based curricula. Imenyerezwa muga ni imwe mu isomo iri mu nteganya nyigisho ariko rifite umumaro cyane kuko iryo somo ryigishwa nyuma yandi yose kugira ngo rihuze ibyo umunyeshuri aba yarize byose ku ishuri. Mu kuri kurikirana rero ni ingenzi cyane kubera ko bituma Eh, twebwe tumenya ko niba ibyo twigishije koko arizo biri ku isoko ry'umurimo kandi tukamenya ko mu byukuri no munyeshuri eh, yamenye ibyo ibyo twamwigishije The private sector is one of the key contributors to the implementation of competence based trainings and assessments Ariko kandi usanga abanyeshuri haregeje bakeneye kujya mu bigo mu entreprise kugira ngo babashe noneho kujya nko mu mwanya nka bari umukozi ave noneho mu mwanya nk'umunyeshuri nubundi agiye ahantu hakorerwa ibintu byabindiga none nohagerageze kubishyira mu bikorwa nkuko bikorwa aho ngaho usanga rero nko nkabikorera umusanzu dutanga igihe abanyeshuri baje turabakira noneho tukabafasha no kubayobora kugira ngo babashe kumenya ndavuga kubayobora kubera ko bata batabimenyereye cyangwa batabizi neza kugira ngo bya bintu babashe kubishyira mu ngira muri cyo kigendanye rero n'imitegurire y'imyigishirize katwe twagiye tujya mu nama zitandukanye izo nama wasanga batubwira bati hagiye gutegurwa gahunda nca izabira imyigisha abanyeshuri bazahabwa twagiraga mu ruhare rero tukavuga tuti niba ari isomo runaka cyangwa se ari kigamijwe nyuma yuko umunyeshuri arangije kwiga kuko tujya tubana abanyeshuri benshi tukavuga tuti ariko byakabaye byiza hongiye miki ngiki kugira ngo umunyeshuri azarangize koko yabasha gukora ikingiki ni ikingiki dukurikije nibyo dukeneye hano mu kazi nkaba abandi bikorera aba bafite profile z'abakozi bakeneye noneho namashuri akaza nibyo yigisha ibyo bintu bikaje hamwe noneho bakabyazamo koko dokimwe imwe ku buryo umuntu azava mu ishuri ibyazi directoma bisa nk'ibikenewe neza hariya mu kazi byakwiyongera rero mu kwiyongera nta kindi cyakorwa nuko PAFP has worked to build capacity of WDA staff in different units and has supported the development of the Integrated Polytechnic Regional Center, IPRC, in the Southern Pilot Province. PAFP has been supporting us from the establishment of the institution uh, three years ago, and we started with, with um, the elaboration of uh, a strategic plan. So after that, we, in a collaboration with PFP, we managed to develop training curricula, CBT curricula. These are the curricula that uh, which are you being used throughout the, the whole country. We are using them as really an IPRC South. And um, having the curricula, we also needed some facilities, some standard equipment, and the PFP supported us financially so that we can get these standard equipment. So another thing that I cannot forget is the link it to the private sector. You know, as a technical training institution, we really need to work together with the private sector so that we, because we are producing for them, you know, and the PFP supported a lot uh, to create this linkage to the private sector. Lastly, but not least, is the, the TVET awareness sessions that we conducted in collaboration with PFP. We have organized so many different TVET exhibitions in the open days so that we can change the mindset of the surrounding community about Tibet. Yeah, from the beginning, we were aware that uh, PFP will come to a time where it will phase out. And uh, whatever projects, whatever activities that have been implemented in collaboration with PFP, our staff were involved. They have been coached, and they now they are able to keep on implementing the activities that PFP has been uh, uh, implementing so far. The way the project was designed, the sustainability was articulated from the beginning in a sense that every technical assistant from the program was working closely with uh, one of the WDA staff or WDA unit in charge of implementation of the program or the intervention areas. This means that uh, not only the required staff who have been working together with the program are in place, 
but also in our working structures and mechanism and even financially or intervention or every initiative that has been initiated during this period uh, is catered to be continued smoothly without any interruption. And I think, um, you know, the, the current labor market is uh, very challenging. It has been changing since the last uh, decades and uh, it needs now the, like um, workers or candidates who are, have enough knowledge but also strong technical or hands-on skills. And uh, these are the graduates that we have to produce in our schools. So my recommendation to these schools which are not implementing CPT, it's now time to do it. Because using the traditional teaching way, you cannot produce graduates with hands-on skills that are really needed on the labor market. So it's now time for them to start introducing competence-based training in their training mechanism, training systems. Since 2010, the main focus of PAFP has been the qualitative improvement of TVET through the implementation of competence-based training approach in construction, hospitality and tourism, agri-food processing, agriculture, veterinary and forestry in 24 pilot schools in the southern province. 28 improved curricula have been developed, 300 TVET instructors trained, and each year, over 5,000 students have benefited from quality TVET that is in line with labor market requirements. What do these figures mean? Competency-based training is really uh, proving to be, to give a uh, positive image to the TVET in this country. The competence-based approach has improved student creativity. Nijishirije ishingiye ku myingiro yatumye abanyeshuri bashirwa imbere babasha kwivumburira bikoresha ubumenyi ngiro mu bworozi bwa kijyambere future veterinary doctor in making umva rero ko guha abanyeshuri stage ikigo nacyo cyuyungukiramo imyigishirize ishingiye ku bumenyi ngiro isohora abanyeshuri bafite ubushobozi buhagi bwo gukora neza ibyo bizi